Well, you know, part of the eight-point agenda under uh, Professor G. Dambata, uh, one of the major components is uh, interagency collaboration. Uh, the focus is about protecting, informing, and educating the consumers. And we seek to do that through various ways. One of those ways is partnering with other organizations that have a mandate to protect the consumers. We have 151 to 154 million telecom subscribers, and that's massive. They have a lot of issues, consumer-related, which NCC, through its Consumer Affairs Bureau, has been working on. And then we have the CPC, which is mandated to protect the consumers across the country. So we've been able to find a, an important area where we can collaborate to work together to protect the interests of the consumers, and that's what we're doing. Even uh, in the NCA Act 2003, the consumer you know, gets a lot of legal co cover in terms of the fact that uh, the agency, the organization, must pay attention to protecting the rights. We have a consumer rights bill, for that matter, in the NCC. So, like we say, the consumer is king, and uh, the NCC over the years has done a lot to protect the rights of the consumers, particularly regarding service satisfaction, regarding the, uh, the, the issue of the quality of service, regarding uh, forced subscriptions, make sure, making sure you get quality uh, for the money you pay, make sure that you're not being charged for the service you don't enjoy. And in fact, last year, 2017, was declared the year of the telecom consumer, and we did a lot. The do not disturb sign to make sure that you don't get unsolicited text messages, the 622, a number you can call to complain directly, and we can resolve your We've seen complaints over the last 16 months drop. We've seen complaints drop by about 25-30%, which shows that we're making an impact and uh, consumers are getting better service.